Well, good Tuesday morning to you. Time now 521. I'm 10 Tampa Bay meteorologist Natalie Ferrari in for Grand Gilmore. Wanted to give you the latest on all that's developing across the tropics this morning. The biggest one, of course, Tropical Storm Isaias. As of 3 o'clock this morning, downgrading now to a tropical storm status. Maximum sustained wind speed still at 70 miles per hour. Look how fast it is racing as of the 5 a.m. update to the north northeast at 28 miles per hour. This is a fast moving system and it's packing quite a bit of a punch with some very heavy rainfall and some strong gusty winds continuing to trail along the I the I-95 corridor all the way through the northeast and this is going to bring life-threatening flash flooding through parts of the region it really won't be until late tonight likely into tomorrow morning that this will gradually downgrade back into a disorganized area of low pressure into canada so that just really shows you what a swath of land that this system is going to be dumping heavy rainfall on. And as mentioned, uh, life-threatening flash flooding, that is one of the primary things the National Weather Service and a lot of folks who live in these areas will be watching out very closely for as the system continues, continues to trail up the I-95 corridor. It's going to be along that corridor in all points to the west and to the east even, and just immediately to the east we'll see those conditions. Also wanted to update you on another disturbance we're tracking in the tropics, just southwest of Bermuda. This area is very disorganized. If anything, the National Hurricane Center giving it a 30% chance that in the next two to five days there could be any tropical development. It's looking a little more unlikely now as this continues to interact some high wind shear and even some drier air. We'll be watching this system very closely, this potential system for you very closely, but chances have dissipated just a touch.